Hey guys, gals. Hey. How we doing? How about Moses Jenkins? Still unbelievable. I think it was Kentucky game, right? Yeah. Yeah. He's uh, he's trying everything he can. You know, Lewis Murphy had a similar injury and it lasted several months. Uh, it's not. Uh, well, they know what it is, and I, I'm not quite sure. I don't want to say the wrong thing. So uh, he is getting better, and they they the, the outlook's bright. He's going to play again. It's just I hope pretty soon. Be very cautious. Deontay. Full speed, doing great. We had a great Thursday. That was a good day today. What I was, was really his pleased with it. You, know? uh, you said you weren't sure what it was. To the point, I didn't miss any practice time. It just was non-contact on Tuesday and Wednesday. But he was full speed. He feels great. I asked him, I said, "How you feel?" It might have been just a contusion. And Rainey's going to be good soon. Rainey's good to go. Yeah, yeah. He didn't have any contact all week, but he's good to go. Did anyone from the SEC office contact you about your comments during the call with him? No, no, not at all. You've had a going for nine wins, obviously, and, and it's time to get your team really focused each week. Have, have you seen the kind of focus you wanted? Yeah, Even today. The distractions? Yeah, you know, distractions are part of the deal. I'm trying to think of a game we didn't have a distraction this year. That's, <laughs> I think we're a perfect 8 0, which is good. Uh, I, I really, I mean, today was one of our best Thursday practices, and we've had some good ones. So I think the weather's breaking a little bit, and the guys are excited. And, you know, everybody keeps talking about. You, you have a chance to, you know, make history by beating the Gators. We have a chance to make history by winning our ninth game. So we're just going one at a time, and I really like the way these guys focus. Today was a really good day. You like Gillis and Brandon Hicks? Gillis, yeah, I think he's going to go. Hicks won't. Hicks is, uh, won't play. He's he's a little more uh, uh, strained. I think we'll be back next week. But I think uh, darn Gillis, he's a tough guy, man. And we've we worked him, and you know, he's only got to play about eight plays. But those are eight against this guy. This is a real important uh, kickoff's going to be critical this week. Are you guys still looking to get Xavier Nixon involved? Yeah, I think X will play. X played a little bit against uh, Georgia, and he's he's the most advanced young lineman, and he had a good, very good week of practice. He'll be in that game. Who steps into the rotation in Brandon Hicks' spot? Brandon Hicks' spot. A.J. Jones is the starter, and behind him, Doe. And then you got, uh, uh, I bet Bostic gets a little more playing time because he's had a very good week of practice. The other guy's coming on. Get a little more healthy as Jelani Jenkins. He's starting to look like the guy he was. Uh, I don't know if he's still ready to go yet. Who else is there? Oh, uh, Lorenzo Edwards. And one other guy missing. Who plays the middle behind Stamper? John Bostic. John Bostic. Yep. Two final questions, guys. How's the defensive line looking health-wise? No good. Marsh is. Uh, Marsh and Jay Howard didn't play great Saturday just because they haven't practiced, but they're, uh, they looked the part and they had much better week of practice. They're in the rotation and we're going to get them in. Trattel's good to go. That's one of my favorite guys, tough guy. Thanks, guys. Have a good Thanks, night. Guys. See you all.